how do you handle a leader who leads from a place of ego and isn't transparent with information? Hey, excuse me. I need to rent a car, uh, preferably one where the radio is stuck on NPR. Here you go. Oh, you don't need to park here, Mr. Griffin. You have an executive parking space now. Well, that looks exactly like my old space. Yeah, but this one comes with your own company suck-up. Morning, Mr. Griffin. Nice day. Well, it's a little cloudy. It's absolutely cloudy. One of the worst days I've seen in years. So, good news about the Yankees. I hate the Yankees. Pack of cheaters. That's what they are. I love your tie. I hate this tie. It's awful. It's gaudy. It's gotta go. And I hate myself. I hate you, too. You make me sick, you fat sack of crap. Gentlemen, we need to talk. My says you're trying to get kids to smoke. Oh, that's just not true. Well, what about this toy? Peter, it's just a doll with a cigarette. I mean, Barbie has a dream car, but you don't see every eight-year-old kid driving. They're just fun toys. Smoke. Not now, Jerry. Trust me, Peter, the last thing we want is to get kids to start smoking. Well, then, then, then what about that graph on the wall that says the first thing we want is to get kids to start smoking? That? Oh, that's just something my son made me in art class. Huh. Well, then, then, then what about that post-it? It says the graph was not made in art class. We really do want kids to start smoking. Look, we're a caring company. I mean, uh, would you really be the president of a company that didn't care about kids? No, but I'm not the president. Yes, you are. If you want to be. Oh. Oh, wow. Imagine me, president. I'll do it. Attention, delegates. This session of the United Nations is hereby convened. Man, this sucks. Hey, podium guy! Hey, I got a problem here. Excuse me, some of us are here to learn. No one's talking to you, Albania. Is there a problem back there? You bet your funny accent there's a problem. I'm stuck up here in the nosebleeds. I am president of Pretoria. I want a better seat. Oh, of course. How could we not have recognized the great nation of Pretoria? <laughs> have a seat up front. Well, that's more like it. And hey, would you also like a special satellite that can scratch your ass with a laser beam from space? They have those? <laughs> your father has returned. Yeah, Peter. Oh, How were all your business trips? Oh, exemplary, Chris. I don't understand what either of those words mean. One of them was Chris. Peter, you seem... Different. That's right, Lois. I live the life of the mind now. My brain is awash with theorems and profundity and abstractions that I can pontificate upon at length. Peter, you sound so refined. Are you intelligent now? Affirmative. That means yes. Peter, I can't get over the way you've transformed yourself. How'd you do it? Well, it just came from travel. 